Hello, guys. Welcome back to CapCut School. Today, Professor Tricky, A.K. Amy, will be teaching you how to make something a bit like this. In my opinion, this is a pretty rubbish edit, but because some of you wanted a tutorial, I'll do one anyway. Firstly, screen record this because it's what you will be using. First of all, go to CapCut, create new project, and add the template you just screen recorded. First of all, make sure the format is 916. Then you can resize the video so it fits perfectly. Make sure that you can see none if the blurred edges like this. The cap cut ending. Then go to add overlay and add your first image. My first image is of sun. Move the overlay to the side, then click on the other video. Then go to cutout, then chroma, key, and then move the circle onto the green and make the intensity 100. And the green squares should now look black. Now move your picture of the player over the first box and add a stock video of either a black or white screen. Then you need to click on the template and make it and overlay. Do this by pressing the overlay button. Now make your stock motion image the full length. You don't really see the background, but I recommend the black one. Now, you need to resize the image so it fits the square with no black behind it. Next, click on the overlay and make it just as long as the template and the black screen like so. Then go right to the start of the player image and add one keyframe by pressing this. Now. From that point, slowly move along, the video moving the image every time it goes out of center. Do not add any more keyframes, because it will do it for you. If you are struggling, watch what I am doing. When the template moves a lot like, this then at a keyframe just before it moves. Then move along the image until the keyframe turns from red to white, and right after the last keyframe move, the image back into center. There should be loads of keyframes being added automatically when a new square appears. Make sure there is no black behind the image. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Every time a new square is added, like this, the image should ideally get smaller each time to fit the one square.
This process is what we will be doing throughout most of the video. So practice it to get better if you need to. At the end, your should look miles better than mine because I rushed it. I will do a time lapse for a bit of the other images I'm just showing you. Guys how to do the first one. But you need to be watching at the end because there will be a problem I will show you how to solve. When you have got to about this point there should be lots of diamonds keyframes on your overlay. Keep going till right to the end. And here is how the first image turned out. And that's the first one done. Now add your second image. Once you have got the overlay, resize it. Then find the layer option and press 1. And then move it to the square. I will now do a time lapse so that you guys do not get to board. If at one point you don't like something or the image is in the wrong place, just go back and change it. For this next one, you will have to find right where the new square comes and then add a new image in that section. Resize it and make the layer one again. Now do the same thing we have been doing the majority of this video. After this one, I will cut to the end of the video to show you how to fix the problem because you guys should know what to do by now.
Once you have got to the last one you should hit a roadblock because you can't add any more overlays. So what you do is add your last image as an ordinary clip and not an overlay. Next, find where you want the last image to come in and cut the black video. <laughs> and add your keyframes to it as you have done to the other overlays. Then cut it at the end. In my opinion, if you would like it to look better, then on all the clips at the fade in animation, and that is the edit complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like or subscribe. I know it's not the best of videos, but I hope you found it helpful. What could I do? I'm not a